Hello Libra, welcome to your Gypsy reading. It's been a minute since I went into the Gypsy. This week has just been weaking, okay? <laughs> this week has just not been a, best, a good week for me, but I'm just going to charge it to the game and dust my shoulders off and try again next week, okay? There's so much things going on. All right, so let's see. What's, e what's Libra's energy? I'm going to say Ebra. What is Libra's energy? All right, Libra, your energy is the lilies. Oh, I feel like Libra's is floating around on a cloud. Cloud nine. All right, cloud nine. You got some really, really good nudes, okay? Um, And you have this. The mouse card. Okay, so this thief keeps coming out. Why do I feel like somebody's trying to steal your joy? You could be on a good note. Or you could have started something on a good note or something like that. And... Somebody is trying to steal your joy. There's a thief here. Somebody in your energy, like directly in your energy that could be trying to steal your joy. Um, Take your happiness away. Why, why can everybody be happy but Libra? <laughs> Somebody feels some type of way about Libra being happy. Get one more card for you, Libra. Okay, you have the ship. It's the symbol of riches. You got riches. Riches in your energy. All right, so let's see who. Who's close by? This fox won't leave you alone. I swear. I swear this fox won't leave you alone. The number 11 is very, very significant with this fox. All right, number 11, even two could be very significant with this fox. Also, I would say the letter A would be very, very significant with the fox for somebody. There is a person who is very close to you, um, an acquaintance even, that probably think that they can betray your trust. There's also a lion here, okay? Somebody is trying to bring some type of bad news to you. Um, yeah, wow. And the mountains indicate the presence of a mighty enemy. So, okay, so your enemies have teamed up. Oh, wow. I love this deck, y'all. If y'all wonder why, why I go in this deck a lot. I love this deck. I knew somebody was texting me. I heard, kept hearing the phone, but when I... um, But when I looked at it, I'm like, what the hell? All right, so all of your enemies are gang, gang, gang. If you ain't know. <laughs> All your enemies are gang, gang, gang. Gang, gang. They all in, they all in, like, there's three people. <sighs> Presence of the mighty. I'm like, who's around Libra? We got the fox, the lion, and the mountain, which is an enemy that's, that's right beside you. Um... Let's see what the what's the common goal. Cause they gotta be on the team to, to to have a common goal. There's a reason. I was just getting this. Like for some of you guys, you were looking for I forgot. Let me try to look it up. There's a difference between a um it's like comrades, something like that. What is it? Com not commissary. It's like comrade, confidant, and a something else. But one person, they are your friend. The other person, you have common enemies. So you are the common enemy. You are the common en enemy. And 
I'm also getting like while you were looking for a friend, a person was just was just teaming up with you because y'all had a common enemy. So y'all just were comrades or something like that. I know what I just I got this download like clear as clear as day probably like three days ago and forgot about it. And then now I'm like everybody is teaming up. Um we gonna see what's the common goal. Oh, you got the house. And you have the broken glass. Someone is trying to make sure the future or make sure you'll have bad luck. That don't even... The discovery of a mystery affecting a person for the better. Somebody discovered something that was affecting you for the better, something that you had going on, a secret or something like that. This could be some type of good news. This could be possibly why a person is trying to steal your joy. All right, let's see. Um, you got the money safe open. Like when I be doing these readings, like y'all energy be real good. You got the moon. Moon. The new moon is going to be real significant for you. You got the sun. All right. Happiness, popularity, good energy coming towards you. Also, secrets are going to be revealed here. And you have, oh, yeah, there's a secret that's going to be revealed here. You got the lightning. This is a surprise. All right. So there's a secret that's going to be revealed here. Surprise, surprise. Surprise. Something is a surprise. Hmm, let's see. This is kind of not everybody team. Everybody's teamed up though. It's a team. Not the enemies gang gang gang. everything on the screen yeah okay all right tell me more about these lilies oh i'm gonna get me some lilies i'm getting me some lilies get me some lilies i hope i can find some cute ones look at you empress energy flowing happy you do have this full moon okay so this full moon was intense i hope you guys watch the full moon um reading but it was also bringing you into this energy of this empress energy this bold energy you becoming more of yourself but there was a big releasing there was a need for you to be okay with the releasing okay um so i do feel like this full moon was very very significant i do feel like also that there are going to be feelings that you have where you're just going to feel good not going to not saying that you don't have a reason because if there's air in your lungs there's a reason but there's not going to be anything going on and you may get extra cute you may put on your some really really nice clothes you may do something but you got this empress energy here all right what's coming out is the fool the two of pentacles and the fool here Opening yourself up. So you're learning to open yourself up, learning to trust yourself, learning to take. So you take a leap of faith and something happens. Something works. Something works really, really well for you. Something works well for you in career or also in personal. If you took a leap of faith with your personal life or if you took a leap of faith in career, it works really, really well for you and you are reaping the benefits. You may buy yourself something really, really nice with the feathers on the, because that's what people wear around this time. Everything got the little pom-pom sleeve. I guess that's what you call it. Like, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Real empresses. Y'all know the nightgowns, the silk nightgowns with the pom-pom sleeves. Don't act like this ain't the time for it. 
this is the time for it, okay? So some of you guys may be getting something with some type of pom-pom sleeves. Tell me more about the letter. And that blush pink is cute too. Real, real cute. Somebody wearing a gown for Christmas or, or, or New Year's. All right, so you have this, okay. So there is some type of letter or something that comes in the mail. And you have the Seven of Swords here. Something is yours for good tidings, but this Seven of Swords energy is like somebody could be trying to take something that you worked hard for. This could be credit. This could be somebody is trying to take something that you worked hard for. The letter is a sign of good tidings, something that you like offerings and you get back. Um, you got the Ace of Wands here and you have the King of Swords. This is what this King of Swords is doing. Yeah, somebody wants this new beginning. I can also feel like you're doing whatever necessary that you need to do. There's also something that you've kept to yourself, too. You could have been very, very secretive about it, not letting everybody know what it is that you're doing. Um, that's also really, really big. And because you're determined to create some type of new beginning, you're, you're determined to create some type of new way of life for yourself. This Ace of Wands energy. Hard work and dedication also. Yeah, this Five of Swords, this is giving me somebody's energy. You're either hiding some really, really good news. You're hiding something. This could also be money or something like that. Or somebody is trying to hide some really good news from you. Or hide the fact that you created something or you started something. Tell me more about the roads. What is the roads? The roads here. So you have the Wheel of Fortune here. Hmm. The Wheel of Fortune is coming in. For you, you got the strength card, you're strong enough, and you have the high priestess. Okay, so somebody did hide something for, for you. And things turn. The tables turn because something comes to exposure. And this is the roads turn dark. Not the not for you, not your life, not those things. But it turns dark because you kind of figure out the hidden secret. And something, you're strong enough to kind of handle some type of hidden secret. There was a message that somebody had for someone that a person didn't relay back to you. Someone could have sent you a message and someone didn't relay that back to you. And you kind of figure that out. That someone didn't relay your message or something like that. This makes you heartbroken. I feel like it's because of who the person is. And the fact that all of these people are lined up, you're going to be surprised of who your enemies are. All right, we do have the Eight of Cups here. Something happened when a person left or you're about to leave a situation. The fact that you kind of figure out some type of hidden secret, you're going to leave. You're going to realize that the situation is not serving you at all. Tell me more about the mouse. Okay. Got the two of swords. Yeah. This is you. There's a thief here. There's a thief that's in your immediate energy. The moment that you leave this... For some of you guys, you've been trying to leave everybody. Every other person. And it's this person here. confused about who the mouse is who the thief really is this has been a great the biggest confusion the biggest mind fuck it's gonna be the biggest mind fuck of the year and this is about actually figuring out who this thief is but you actually once you figure this thing out you're gonna ponder on it there's something that you need to think about and you leave, you actually create the lifestyle that you want. You actually go right into this lifestyle that you've already been creating. So the lifestyle gets created regardless. 
something's done bittersweet though. Yeah, something's heartbreaking. The biggest mind fuck. Something is the biggest mind fuck of the year. Tell me more about the ship. It's almost like nothing is what it seems. All right, so you do have the strength card with this ship coming in. So you get invited somewhere. There's an invitation for you. There's an invitation for expansion. There's an invitation for growth. There's an invitation for wit riches. You could also be being honored somewhere. All right. Um, there could have been an invitation that a person could be withholding, withholding from, from you. But it comes anyway. Have the nine of swords. Something has you all in your thoughts, all in your mind. Something that a person was holding back from you. They was like, it's almost given like a gatekeeper. And there was some type of invitation or something that a person had for you. Hmm. Let's see. Let's read these enemies. Tell me more about the fox. All right. So there's a fox that comes out of the blue with the call or with the visit. Um, there's a there's an acquaintance that is sparking something, that's starting something. You have the judgment card. So there's an acquaintance that's trying to get you red handed. I'm looking at this as like prints, like that's trying to get you caught up on something. Someone is also judging you for a lot of things. Someone is definitely trying to expose you. So be mindful of what you tell people. There's an acquaintance that was trying to expose you, all right? Yeah, you have the hermit card. Mm -hmm. I feel like you can see, you can feel somebody's energy from a mile away. All right, tell me more about the lion. All right, tell me more about the lion. I feel like this is like lying. The lion, yeah, you have the, the knights of swords here. So... There's a person that's coming to you really, really fast with some type of drama, chaos, or something. Yeah, with the message, you have this Knight of Pentacles, and you have this Page of Cups here. I feel like there's a person that's plotting with some type of message. There's a message that a person is plotting with. You see how these three cups, these people with these three cups, they're all talking. But this person with the page of cups, this is the one who you least suspect of anything. And they're coming to you to, to, to relay some really, really bad news. They want to relay some bad news. There was a message. They've been trying to get in contact with you. <clears throat> yeah, look at that devil energy. This person is obsessed with you. This person's obsessions with you should let you know that how obsessed this other these other people are with you. Somebody is very very obsessed. Tell me more about the mountain. Sorry. Tell me more about the mountain. I don't know what that was? Are right, you have the Queen of Wands? All right, the presence of a mighty enemy. Got the queen of wands here coming up. You got the ace of pentacles. And you have the knight, the nine of swords. Why do I feel like a person is trying to make you feel guilty? The house in eight years is really, really symbolic. I 
Somebody could also be beautiful. Or maybe you could be beautiful. Somebody could also have like the center of be, be a center of detention or you could be the center of uh, the ten, the center of attention. But a person doesn't want you to rest in your ace of pentacles. They want you to be in this nine of swords. You do have the the sun card. They're going to be exposed. And I do feel like this person, they want you to be miserable in this, you know, this ace of wands. This could be a new home or something. Tell me more about the house. Yeah, you have the star card here. So you are the center of attention. You have this type of, this house or this long prosperous life. Instead of you being able to rest or lay in your blessings, a person wants you to feel guilty. A person wants, wants you to feel bad. A person doesn't want you to be happy in it. Yeah, you have the six of cups and you have the ten of wands here. Somebody is just replaying events over and over and over and over again. There's like a same old story where everything gets thrown on you. If you felt like everything has been thrown on you or you're to blame for everything. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you have the ten of swords. Like this is a cycle. The cycle. The reason why everything gets thrown on you because you are the star. Somebody keeps trying to kill your kill your shine or kill your light. Something is cyclic. I'm sorry to say this could definitely be family. You got the six of cups coming out. Tell me more about the broken glass. A person wants to give you bad luck for long years. Long years. Yeah, you have the king of cups here. Yeah, somebody is a mastermind. Like these people are masterminds of emotions. Don't. Do not underestimate these people. They understand emotions, but more importantly, they understand yours because they're closer than you think. This is about to be the biggest mind fuck. I'm just thinking, who could this person be? Who could this person be? Yeah. Nine of Swords. Keep you. Somebody wants to keep you in this Nine of Swords energy, this scared fear self-conscious insecure this tend to keep you in that type of somebody needs to keep you in that type of someone's feeding off of your energy they feed off of it yeah and this is going to be based off of some type of new opportunity new house you do have something is a new house Someone needs the same, the same cyclic thing to keep on happening. Tell me more about the money safe. I don't know who that's for. The money safe. All right, significant energies. You do have the king of wands. The money safe is open for you. There's a need for you to get keep your eyes on the bigger picture. All right, keep your eyes on the bigger picture. You have the hangman. So it looks like you're the only one thinking a certain type of way. Or you're the only one that has some type of enlightenment. And there's some type of epiphany that's going to open up some doors. Or you get an epiphany to try something new and something new actually works for you. So there's a need for you to keep your eyes on the bigger picture. Keep on working at your goals. All right. You do have the six of pentacles. Yeah, your hard work would definitely be paid off. Tell me more about the moon. Why is this new moon significant? right now and this could also be a secret all right so there's a need for you to rest rest clear your mind so the new moon i feel like for you know the new moon is new then it gets full again for some of you guys you're going to be starting really really new no when is this new moon it's on the 12th all right, so December 12th, there will be a new type of feeling that you're feeling, a newness. For some of you guys, you are releasing this past energy. Yeah, releasing this past. You have the Four of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. There's some valuable information 
that you could be telling a person. I feel like you could be wondering if you're, you're going to trust somebody. You do have this Knight of Cups coming up. Let's see what's in the middle. Yeah, you have the, the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to opt not to trust the person. Somebody's going to seem very, very tempting, but you're going to keep something to yourself. Um, tell me more about the sun. Sun coming out. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups with the Tower card. Hmm. Ultimate Fulfillment. So there's some ultimate happiness that is going to create a tower. And it's going to create a tower because there's another foundation that can't live if you actually get what it is that you're happy. It, what, what, what makes you actually happy? Um, you do have the Nine of Swords and you have the Ten of Swords. So there's some, with this ultimate happiness, happiness this tower breaks because the cycle, there's a cycle that breaks. For some of you guys, you've been reliving the tower, reliving the tower, reliving the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords over and over and over again. But in comes this Ten of Cups, this ultimate happiness, success, all of those things that you want. And it automatically brings you out of alignment with the cycle that you've been reliving. I do feel like you feel it. The Ten of Cups is you actually feeling this, the ultimate happiness, you feeling happiness, you feeling the success, you feeling the love around you. Instead of it being around you and you're not, you're not being able to tap into it. Yeah, you have the moon card. Something is a whole other side of the story here. Yeah, this is the secret. For some of you guys, the secret is you need to feel it. You haven't been allowing yourself to feel your happiness. Tell me more about... Um, lightning. Okay. Shocking surprise. So there's somebody from your past. You have the six of cups energy. You have the fool and the two of pentacles. So there's a shocking surprise. This came out already. This is you balancing, you taking this leap of faith or something like that. There is this, this significant energy of this, like, you're going to be pleasantly surprised about this leap of faith that you choose to take. Whether it's personally or whether it's with career. Very, very happy, yeah. And that is that cup. That is the cup. That is the leap of faith that's being opened. And you have the winner. You got the judgment card. So there's some type of leap of faith that does you really, really good that you're going to be pleasantly surprised about, okay? So that is your reading. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.